idea of when you're in the middle of the court, hitting the back of the ball, then moving yourself around to hit an inside or an outside portion of the ball. As we did the cross court versions, it was making sure you could run out wide for a ball, recover, get your split set no matter what when the other player makes contact, and then be able to either hit the cross court ball or hit the down the line ball right from the player. Now, so a lot of times that's how a rally is going to be formatted in terms of you'll hit a good cross court shot to start, the ball that was to me, and then they'll give you a weaker ball that you'll then hit away from that location. So, uh, so that's a really good representation of the point. That split set, just important to remember, don't get too stressed about recovering um, and covering the open court. Just make sure when they hit, you stop, secure, set, and then do your best you can after that. Um, serving, learn how to truly create the top spin, toss location, putting it over here so that you're forced to go up to make your contact. Knowing that the spin creation looks the same for the serve as it does for the forehand, as it does for the backhand. It's the same racket movement that you're trying to create. You just have to use slightly different muscles. Um, later on, I'll show you some exercises. It's actually using a hammer. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah. um, where we can work on building these specific muscles so that it'll be a little bit easier and you can be a little bit more powerful creating this motion. Um, and on the backhand, what do we say? Swinging or stance? Can you elaborate? Okay, so instead of saying don't be something, tell me what to do. Okay, if it's too close to you, move away. What do we say about the width of your feet? Huh? Or make it wide? No. So, so understand. Even though they mean the same thing, it's hugely different. Rather than saying, I don't want to do this, tell yourself what you do want to do. I, I want to do this. Give yourself positive instructions rather than saying, I don't want to mess it up this way. I don't want to be too narrow with my stance. No, I want to be wide with my stance. So you're giving yourself a positive instruction. It is so much easier for your body to follow positive instructions than it is to avoid negative criticisms which is what you're giving yourself if you're telling yourself what you don't want to do. Um, we could have a whole long conversation about that, but I'll keep it really trim there. Um, and then we talk a little bit about body language, just saying no matter what is going on, don't let someone just be able to look in your direction and say, oh, I can tell how I'm in going. Um, make sure that you hold that in um, and you're able to play with an even feel. Um, tennis. Tennis, boxing, wrestling, those are the three sports that are the most individually intense sports. You could throw golf in there as well in terms of it's just you, and it's very difficult. Um, if you cannot control your emotions, um, which normally I've never seen you have a problem with. As I said, this is the first time I've ever seen your emotions get the better of you. Um, and it was a very awkward situation. Um, and I thought you felt handled it pretty well. but. That's just how you'll handle it better next time. Um, and if you're frustrated, turn that frustration into something good um, in terms of, you know, I'm angry and I'm going to make them pay. Um, you know, peg an old lady or two. See what they do. They're not really old ladies, don't they? But yeah. All right. Is that all clear, Anna? All right. Good job. Oh, and then on Friday, can you come and join our group? Hi, right, your body language has betrayed you again. Um, so, on Friday, when you join the group, I wouldn't be inviting you to the group if you didn't have the skills to participate. So you should be knowing already going in, you can be in that group. Because I wouldn't have invited you in the first place if you couldn't handle it. So just play as well as you can. If you miss a couple shots here or there, don't feel like, oh shoot, I, I don't belong in this group. I, I missed a couple. No, you just happen to miss a couple. Um, I'll never put you in a position that I don't think you're qualified to handle. I might put you in a challenging position, but I'll always make sure you can handle the situation. Okay? So just trust me on that, and then I think you'll be able to perform really well. Alright, nice job, Anna. I will see you on Friday. Alright? And, and Tuesday, Thursday, there's no this week? Nope, not this week. Um, the, the week after, it's the last week of that session. Okay. The next session technically starts the first week of March, but I don't really care if she wants to start. 
um, that last week of the session. That's just fine. We don't tailor the lesson plans um, session by session because we usually have the same crowd of people. So Tuesday, Thursday, you'll be joining a lot of the kids you already know um, and from the club. And a lot of them are Pine Lake kids. So you'll kind of, they usually walk over as a group. And uh, so you'll just get to join them. Okay? Any I questions? Learn a lot too because uh, I always use the negative word. Yeah, it's, it's just, you know, it's just a different way of saying it. It's very, uh, once you catch yourself doing it, it's really easy to realize how much you're doing it. Um, and it can make a difference, you know. Well, it, it is make, making a big difference. I, I read some uh, self-help book, the English company, but I never, you know, in my mind, because mm -hmm. we were educated that way. Yeah. Growing up in that environment. And sometimes she mentioned that non-university.